Hi, Art here, and welcome back to Stem Cell Talks. Today we follow up on a multiple sclerosis treatment utilizing a patient's own stem cells. 2.8 million individuals suffer from MS. In MS, the immune system attacks the protective sheath, the myelin, that covers the nerve fibers, causing communication problems between the brain and the rest of the body. Treatment options are few, and the disease progresses over time, resulting in debilitating symptoms such as vision loss, chronic pain, fatigue, and diminished coordination. To create an effective treatment, researchers have been taking advantage of the immune modulation and regenerative properties inherent in mesenchymal stem cells. Here's how it works. Mesenchymal stem cells are recovered from the patient. The stem cells are then isolated and cultured in the lab. They are then transplanted back into the patient, either intravenously or by direct injection into the spinal cord. After successful phase one trials in which the treatment was shown to be safe and well tolerated, researchers moved on to phase two trials in which the participation rate was expanded, various dosage and application protocols were employed, and efficacy measured. Following the success of the phase two trials, researchers are now preparing to move to phase three trials, which involve a greater number of patients and more nuanced dosage to determine optimal treatment protocols. This trial represents a convergence of two powerful forces, personalized medicine and stem cells. It points to where regenerative medicine is heading, utilizing the patient's own stem cells to treat a wide range of disease, trauma, and injury. It confirms that the future of regenerative medicine is now and validates the wisdom of millions of forward-thinking families who choose to bank their own stem cells when they are young, active, and plentiful so they will be available for use in emerging regenerative treatments. That's it for now. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.